What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. If I ever find a little bastard, it's a business. It's dead meat. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today, we're going to be looking at Critters Bounty Hunter, released in 2014. As an apology for not getting an actual movie kill count out this weekend, I'm going to be doing a kill count shorts, a new series I'll start where I cover short films on the kill count instead of a whole movie. Critters Bounty Hunter is an excellent short film directed by Thanks Killing 3's director Jordan Downey. Thankfully, it's very different from that monstrosity. Critters Bounty Hunter is an extremely well-made short film that has great effects and just a great story. It revolves around a lone bounty hunter who heads to a house where critter life was detected. His goal? Kill, kill more Christ. Christ. How many kills will the critter and bounty hunter get? Let's find out. Get to the kills. The short film opens in front of a house where we see the bounty hunter let himself in. He heads inside and quickly finds a critter crushed underneath a shelf for a first critter kill of the short film. The bounty hunter then rips off a chunk of the critter's hair and feeds it to his gun. Mmm, -hmm, alien pelt. The gun then starts speaking and lets the bounty hunter know that there is one more critter still in the house. Upstairs we see a dead body that the critter is still feasting on for our first and spoiler only human kill of the short film. When the bounty hunter makes it upstairs, he finds the kitchen a mess, but he also picks up some pasta roni and pours it out. This is a nice little nod to Critters 2 when Ugg and Lee are trying to figure out how to use straws. Before he can find out how to cook the pasta roni, there's a rolling fur ball! The bounty hunter shoots at the critter but only manages to blow up a chair. The bounty hunter follows the critter throughout the house and eventually stops at a bathroom and looks down at the toilet. This is another nod to the first Critters film where a critter was hiding in the toilet. The bounty hunter continues walking throughout the house but eventually finds a laundry basket and sees what he thinks is the critter in there. Fun fact, Jordan Downey was playing both the bounty hunter and puppeteering the critter at the same time in this scene. The critter bites down on the bounty hunter's shoulder, which causes him to drop his gun, but he manages to grab the critter and throw it off of him. We then get an awesome shot of the critter before it rolls back to attack the bounty hunter, who grabs it and pins it up against the wall. <laughs> that funny joke is a callback to my favorite scene from the first Critters film. The bounty hunter then pulls out a knife and stabs the critter through the mouth with it, killing it. With the job done, the bounty hunter begins heading back to the ship, but then the camera starts going around through the house and eventually into a baby's room to find three critter eggs about to hatch. However, the bounty hunter is not about to let that happen, so he quickly blows up all three of the eggs, adding three more critters to the count. Kill more Christ. And finally, for the first time in any of our kill counts, the movie ends with a title card that plays over a badass remix of Power of the Night. How many kills will the critter and bounty hunter get? Let's find out. Get to the no what? Ah! Six people slash critters died in Critters Bounty Hunter, with one unknown body and five critters. Golden Chainsaw for best kill goes to the main critter, mostly because of the reference, and Dol Machete for worst kill goes to the dead body. And that's it. Critters Bounty Hunter came out in 2014 and is an excellent short film. I recommend you go check it out. Next time for an actual kill count, we'll be looking at Puppet Master Doctor Death. But until then. I'm Hardcore Fan, see you next time.